Hello Internet. The thousand dollar budget long range rifle build is nearing completion. So let's talk over a few of the things we've got done for it so far and a few things we're waiting on. Alright, so as you know it's a Zastava two seated Winchester that I picked up second hand. It already has a Timony adjustable trigger installed. I have worked that into the, the price, but it is nice to have too. So the scope we've gone with a Cytron SIH tech 4 to 12. This has minute of angle adjustable turrets, so makes life a lot easier for uh, trying to shoot those long range steel targets. Now I've got it sitting in a set of worn 25mm steel rings. I picked these second hand up of Trade Me, $80. And then that's all sitting on a 20 minute of angle rail that my local gun shop, Magnum Sports, managed to track down for me. Those of you who have worked on Mausers know it can be a right bugger to get a rail that actually fits because of the various receiver sizes and then a lot of Mausers have been drilled by gunsmiths and not to a standard pattern. So that saved a lot of headaches. Okay, so that's cool, that cost me 100 bucks. The stock, I've stiffened the forearm with resin to prevent the, um, the barrel touching the stock um, when it's been loaded up on the bipod. So that should help with accuracy a lot actually because it was ridiculously flexy before being such a cheap flimsy stock. Now up in front here, you'll notice I've got a suppressor on. Ignore that, that's purely because I've been shooting around the stock as I was doing load development. I've got a Wish muzzle brake coming from China so purely because it's cheap to keep me in budget so other than that it's pretty straightforward i've started load development i'm using the hornaday 145 eldx i've got a reasonable bc for a um, two seven projectile and about half the price of the nozzles and the similar ones so keeping the cost down a bit there not that reloading is included in my price so, now, I did have a very, very good shooter visit not long ago, and he asked, why aren't we using a scope like this? Now, this is your everyday 3 to 9 that comes on your Tika package deal or your, your Howa, whatever you buy, and it's got little dots in the uh, reticle. So, if you can't get something like this with an adjustable scope, you can use something like this. So, on 9 power, because this is a second focal plane scope, you'll have your 100 meter zero, then you'll have, say, 200 odd meters, then 300 odd meters at the reference points. But if you change your zoom, because it's a second focal plane scope, it'll change what those reference points mean. Now you set across here will stay the same, but if you have the distance, you could potentially double how far your bullet can go with drop. So I'm mincing it up the explanation, but the plan is to also, I'm gonna do it with this scope, we'll try and shoot the long range, but then I'm going to put this little Leupold VX1 on and I'm going to try with some degree of accuracy engage targets, not to a thousand because I'll have to zoom back to like three power, but to six, seven hundred meters just to show that you can in fact shoot a reasonable distance with accuracy with an extremely basic scope that you can't really adjust. So that'll be fun, it'll be hard, but it'll be interesting. So watch that space. Um, what else? I've started load development, it's going pretty well. I'm hoping to have a load by the end of this weekend and then I'll be able to start doing some testing out to six, 700 meters before I um, take it up to Aha TV and try and shoot down to a K and, and wrap this project up. So other than that, I think that's about it. So yeah, keep watching if it's interesting to you. If you don't like 270, don't watch, I'm not worried. All right, see you later.